Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Bloom Star Defense 6. Uh, I did not upload an episode yesterday because I kind of got home late and I had to record the daily challenge like when it was new except when I got home. I found out that apparently the daily challenge was like the alternate rounds on a map that I hadn't done on hard yet so I wasn't actually able to do the daily challenge. Um, so that's something that I might run into uh, eventually. Um, however, this challenge was just standard, uh, regular old easy mode, uh, on a map, which clearly no one should ever lose, uh, to an easy map on standard or whatever. I, mean, I don't even know what difficulty the map itself is. This is actually a pretty interesting map. Um, but the way I say it like that is, or the reason why I say it like that is because, uh, this is my second attempt at this challenge. Um... It seemed pretty straightforward and pretty easy and I invested a decent amount of money into spike factories at both of those exits uh, pretty early on and then um, I didn't really well I say I invested a decent amount I I only got up to the red hot spikes and I didn't upgrade the faster uh, attacking I guess we call it um, and then I just kind of left it at that. And then I uh, removed those statues and put up three uh, attack shooters, two of which were overdrive, and they all had long range. Um, that didn't work <laughs> because I very nearly lost to like round 37 because there was a bunch of camo balloons and uh, my defenses were not ready uh, for that attack which I thought was pretty funny. I had like five lives left after that one, um, which again, I, th I thought was hilarious. But then I was like, oh, okay, I'll just, you know, beat it uh, anyways and then have five lives left and it'll be a funny story. Uh, but then the Moab just wiped right through my defenses and I was like, well, time to go back to the drawing board. <laughs> uh, so in this one, I'm focusing more on the uh, attack shooter uh, or yeah, the attack shooter. Uh, right there in the front and of course you got to put Oban right there because I mean there's not really a better place for him I mean I guess you could put him where the tag shooter is but uh, this map is very interesting um, because it, it either forces you to bunch up all of your defenses onto one small spot where I am or you can spread your defenses out onto both sides, either both sides of the exit or both awesome. entrances, um, which is a really interesting uh, design choice. Or you can invest like 700 monkey money, or not monkey money, but 700 cash into um, removing those statues so you have more room to bunch up your defenses right there at the choke point. Um, so I, I think this map is one of the few maps that really made me think about my strategy more. Uh, rather than just kind of placing the same old towers. Plus, I mean, the daily challenge restricts you to three towers, to one of which is the hero. Um, so it's really interesting uh, because it's only on it only goes up to round 40, or you only need to go up to round 40. So you don't really have to worry about camo lead balloons. So technically, I didn't really need to use the white hot spikes on the uh, spike factory. I only really needed to bump up the extra, well, I guess if I'm going for mines, then I have to do the White House spikes, but you know what I mean. Like, uh, I didn't have to specifically worry about camo lead. Um, and with Obin, I've already got lead popping, so I don't need to worry about the uh, hot shots on the tack shooter. Because um, there's not that many leads, like, at least compared to what Obin can take care of. Um, so really, I just need the tack, or the spike factory for camo balloons, and then uh just the whatchamacallit uh the spike factory in my opinion particularly overdrive uh in order to get rid of the moab or you could focus on the spike factories even more and get like a moab shredder spike factory in front of the mines in order to help deal with the moab although in my uh experience whenever i invest a lot into spike factories it doesn't really work out that well um, like, they tend to leak more balloons than, uh, than I would like them to, <laughs> considering they're the last line of defense, uh, or they just end up not getting used very much, um, depending on how you invest or whatever. Um, 
But anyways, uh, I had actually started using or started going for like the long life um, spike factories. But one, I remembered that the Moab shows up on the left side, not the right, uh, or at least like the left exit. It come, it enters from the right, but then exits on the left. Um, so I didn't really need to invest that much into the right spike factory. However, I couldn't remember what side uh, round 37 comes in on. Although I guess I could just think about it as odd comes in on the left, even comes in on the right. So 37, I'd have to buff my left spike factory. That makes sense. Um, <laughs> something to remember the next time I uh, do this stage. And here, I mean, I think I do lose a couple lives? No? Okay. I thought I leaked a couple there, but um, I guess not. Uh, oh wait, no, now I'm on round 37. So it was round 36 that messed me up, I guess. Wait, did I have... I don't know what... I did the math wrong, apparently, in my head earlier. Um, but anyways, this is going to be a short video. Uh, just because it's just the easy map. Um, I was thinking about doing... or Well, I did, ouch, the, uh, the expert master hardest difficulty map or whatever. Uh, I did it on easy, obviously. I can't... Oh man, I can't even begin to uh, attempt that on medium or hard or impoppable or chimps. It'd be ridiculous. But um, if I ever do get to live stream this game, it would be really cool to go through and like try to chimps a level uh, with you guys there watching or whatever and give me advice and stuff. I think that'd be cool. Um, but anyways, uh, two overdrives are enough to basically pop the Moab and then I had to have those mines to uh, pick up the slack and I still lost almost 70 lives. Technically more because of the plus 25, so that's ridiculous. I don't know how you're supposed to do that without monkey knowledge. Um, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure uh, someone else has done that without losing any lives and like on chimps mode or whatever, but anyways, um, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.